smart faces. So I kept saying I was going to do a video on my portfolio and then I never got around to filming it, but I was just putting away some of my snack diamond paintings into this thing and I was like, I'm just going to film that video now. So today we're going to look at my snack portfolio. Some of them will be done, some of them aren't. But before we get started, if you love diamond painting, I'd love to have you as part of my hive. All you have to do is click the subscribe button. I post new videos on a regular basis and it's free. So let's get started. This is my portfolio. I will put the portfolio size here. This was inspired, this purchase was inspired by Abigail Marie from Abigail Diamond Paints or Diamond Painting with Abigail. I don't remember what her channel name is, but I'll put it in the link below. She did. She showed her portfolio on her channel. I was like, what size is that? Tell me everything. So I got it. It's from Amazon. So to begin with, we have this little diamond painting. It's a very small snack. I think it was like 25 by 25 centimeters. It was really fast to do. I used a multi-placer. And to be honest, I don't remember where a lot of these are from. Um, some of them I got for free from companies just to do a review video. You might see an unboxing for them in my previous videos. And some of them I might have not unboxed. So if you see something you want to know where it's from, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to figure out where I got it from. So this is what I call Orange Girl. She's from an AliExpress seller. There's some popping drills, but she is sealed and it was a square diamond painting. I really had fun doing her. This is from Amazon and it's just around with the sun and moon. This is from somewhere, I wanna say Home Fun or something. No, Everyday e -deals. I don't know. But this one was really cute, just a black cat looking at the moon. Here's Rick and Morty. I did this one for Clayton and the thought was I was gonna put it behind his computer like where he sits, but it was like, it turned out really crappy. It's like a Pikachu, Pokemon, Rick and Morty themed diamond painting. This one I believe is from Amazon and it's just a black cat. You'll see a theme. I do do a lot of black cats. It's just a partial. So only the cat is diamond painted. Here's a peacock from Amazon. Who hasn't done a peacock? If you're a diamond painter and you haven't done a peacock, are you really a diamond painter? Uh, this was I did for Drills and Chills 2020 and it's just... Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. I was like, what is this called? It's from Amazon, Nightmare Before Christmas. I ordered it specifically so I could take part in Drills and Chills. This one is also from Home Fun. It was just a black cat drinking coffee. Here's a special diamond painting. I call this like the royal cat. He's really cute. I really like these drills. I call them peacock drills. But yeah, so that one was fun and that was a really quick one to do. This is the royal grumpy cat. You might have seen this on my Instagram, but he just looks so grumpy, like a grumpy baby. But this one I really liked. I love like there's here, if you can see up close, there's little rosebud, rosebud, I don't know, rose petal, whatever, drills. And this one reminds me of an anus. An anus, if you know what an anus is, uh, you're welcome. I love this one. This one was one of my first diamond paintings I ever did, and it's just of the coronavirus. Here is a butterfly special. Here's a purple tree that I got from diamondart.ca. This is a bee. I like this bee. I haven't done it yet, obviously. This one I'm saving for Drills and Chills 2021. Here's two cats just in the moonlight. This one is really cute. It's a little raccoon with succulents. Here is a butterfly. I think that's from, what is that place called? I don't remember, Never mind. And then this is from that same company, but I can't remember what it's called. It's just kind of like a floral thing. This was from Shen, like the clothing store Shen. Surprisingly, they have diamond paintings. Here's a butterfly partial I never completed. Here's another one of those cats. I don't know if I'm going to do this cat because it's not very detailed and the drills aren't as fun as the other cat. Here's a cactus scene. I wanted this one so, so much from, it's from one of those snack painting sites and I love this image so much and I haven't done it yet, but I've wanted it forever and I finally got it. Here's a cabin scene. Let me just push it down a bit. This one was really fun to do. It was really quick and it used those quad quad drills, whatever they're called, but 
yeah, so that one was cool to do. I really like how it turned out. I haven't done this one, but I love the colors in this one. Here's a B one. The scary cat from Alice in Wonderland, I think. Here's a hand, Hamsa hand. This is one of those opera, Chinese opera girls. She turned out really well. She's a full drill, and then there's like special drills within her headdress, which is really neat. I really like how that one turned out. This one is a dream catcher. This one took me like only an hour to do or something ridiculous. It didn't take me long at all. I really like how it turned out. Here's another sun in the moon. For a while, I was really on a sun in the moon kick. As you can tell, this is from that second page. And then I got this one. This one, I believe, is from Amazon or one of those snack sites. I can't remember. This one reminds me of a tile, like a kitchen tile or something. I think Christopher Kalalasa um, completed this one, so you might want to check out his channel for his completion. Here's another Chinese opera girl. Another Chinese opera girl. Here's a raven that I don't think is going to turn out really well, but I've wanted this one for such a long time and I finally got it. And um, yeah, it should turn out okay. Like it's one of those ones that will be nice from far away. Here's the wolf. This one took me 10 years to complete, as you can tell. It's, it was a long journey to complete this wolf. Yep. Here's a flower mandala one. And the sloth that was inspired and enabled by Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. So that is my portfolio. It is getting almost full. So I will, I will have to buy another one, but this... This comfortably fits 30 by 40. I really like this portfolio. I think like it comes in handy. And so I store my drills separately. But all I do when I store the drills is, let's see, for example, I have this flower mandala one. I just make a really crappy label. And where's the flower mandala so I can show you. Even though on the package itself, it says this, it has the item number three x342 i still write it on here and then the item number is just here so i have like little names for them like this is flower mandala this is partial wolf but i didn't really have to keep the drill separate because literally it was one color um and yeah like i named this one crow raven or whatever and then i just put the item number on the drills and then i just keep them in this big bin so that is basically my diamond painting portfolio full of my snack diamond paintings. Again, if there's one that you want to know where I got it from in particular, let me know and I can look back in my diamond painting log book. But that's all I really have to share with you guys today. That is it. And this portfolio will just continue being built on with the more snacks that I get. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see this thing full and it'd be nice if it was full of finished diamond paintings. But y'all know me like I like doing the bigger canvases. These I only really do when I want to break from the bigger canvases. Anyways, I'll stop talking. If this video was helpful to you or you liked it, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post new videos on an almost daily basis and I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!